Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela and our Green Acre Homestead. If you followed our channel or watched our videos and the history of our videos, you will have seen that we have grown strawberries in a variety of different ways. <laughs> Directly in the ground, in a concrete center block, pyramid, planter tower, transplanted into a cedar box. And uh, we now give you the fourth iteration of strawberries, and that's called... The gutter system. The gutter system. <laughs> How far down do you think? So that's the top? Yeah. So it's going to hang. We'll get the little short scrap piece I cut outside. I think that would be... How big do they grow? Or still hang over? Yeah, I don't think they would get much taller than this. Right. about even overhang here. How's that other end look? Um, it's a little bit short. Okay. That's good. That like should it? be enough to put the end on. Okay. There you go. And I'm not going to worry about fighting that to get in there because this is not water gutter. It's just going to be dirt. Installation was really easy, so now it's time to put the strawberry plants into the gutters. I think it's going to be a little bit easier to take the actual plant and put it in the gutter and then put dirt around it, but I may be proven wrong. I'm not sure. I've not done this before, so let's see what works. Well, that was three of these, made quite a mess. And we have one larger one to go that's out in the garden, but it's so heavy, we can't move it in here. So we'll have to get the plants out of there and transport them in here. Wow. Yeah. There's some big ones. these are the mature ones. 
Because mm -hmm. they have runners galore. So we have a lot more strawberries than we thought we did. We thought we would have enough room in the gutters to put some of the runners in to root, but we don't really have any more room. We'll have to go and get another gutter. In the meantime, um, I'll see if I can squeeze some in. Otherwise, we'll put them in little pots until we can go back and get a third gutter to put up. I have to go ahead and fill in in between all the plants with soil. Something else I thought that would be nice to have in here, along with the garden shears, mm -hmm. a broom. Oh, I've been thinking that with me doing this. So we can sweep all the dirt out of here. Are you my helper? I am. Just call me Dirt Bag. And pack the very end of the gutter with the soil too so it doesn't dry out. I know, honey. I got nothing else to do but look and see what you're doing and offer my expertise as I hold a bucket of dirt up in here. Give me something at least, okay? Give that to me. I can tell you where to put the dirt in the end. Right, yep, yeah, right there. Yep. And put up, yeah, push it down. And then, yeah, push that down. And, yeah, yeah, right over there is what I was thinking too. Yeah, hold that. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, a little bit more dirt. There you go. Okay. Nah, don't you even play because you'll do it on accident. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Much better. It looks correct now. Yay! Because it is correct. Yep. Note to self, don't use a crooked board when you're marking out a level line for your gutters. Second note to self, make sure Angela's here. It goes a lot smoother to have help and she has a little bit straighter eye than I do, I guess. So what Angela's doing now is finishing out, topping out the top of this gutter with dirt. I wasn't sure if I need to fill it all the way. So while she was up there reading a book to the boys, I started on the dirt and then I stopped. So she's finishing it out. We're going to fill it all the way up to the top and then we're going to clip these runners off and transplant them. Now, ooh, new tool time. Hang on. 
Yesterday I mentioned that I'd like to have something better than these cheap rusty scissors that I was using for pruning. Kind of made it as a passing mention, kept on rolling. Well today when Angela went to the store to get more gutter, she got me a present. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I hid your face. She got me a pair of Fisker's pruning shears and these are really, really cool. They are very fine point little scissors. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Very special, maybe. Made me feel good, right in the feels. So we will use this awesome new clipper snippy things to cut the runners and transplant them. I don't know what to say. Runners are not happy. Angela, <laughs> tell us why. Yes, the runners are not happy. Um, since the other ones are kind of in shock, the main ones in the dirt, the runners are looking half dead as well. The best thing we know to do is to go ahead and clip them and let them soak in some water for a little bit to see if it can help revive them. And we're going to go ahead and try to plant them. It's not going to hurt anything. We've already got the gutter up with dirt. So we're going to try it and hopefully they will perk back up and thrive. So let's go. Let's go. So I was going to be all chivalrous and gracious and let Angela use these to clip off the runners and everything. But then she said no, she wants me to try them since they're mine. Well, there's no sure way to guarantee we'll kill them than let me try. Alright, you got to tell me what to do. Do I snip them here? I guess. Or wherever? I don't know. Oh. I am not a... You're not a strawberryologist? Guru, whatever. Alright, my OCD guru. won't like the thing sticking out. So I'm going to snip them close to there. And then, in my head, logically, this is not going to do anything, so I'll snip it about right there, leaving us with that little guy. And in the water it goes. Rainwater, I might add. Okay, yes, these are really cool snips. They're very, very sharp points, which lets me reach in there and cut, hopefully, the right thing very easily. Plus, they're very sharp. So, thank you, hon. I like them. Alright, I'll let you do a couple more. I want you to see how you like these. Okay. They are really nice. Cut your fingers open in a heartbeat, though. Well, I guess that's it for the runners. We're going to let those soak and then we will stick them in the dirt. I have to say, I do like these little clippers. If they go missing, Sam, don't go looking around my flower garden. We've given these strawberries a lot of water yesterday and today. And up until this point, I wasn't sure if we needed to put drain holes in it or not, so I didn't. But now we've got some excess water, well, actually too much than what we want up here. So what I'm going to do is drill some, I think this is like a 3 16 inch drill bit. I'm going to drill drain holes on the bottom of the gutter about every two feet and start with that. If I notice it's still holding too much water, one, I could just not water it as much, or two, I'll add more drain holes. It's kind of the perks of it being in the greenhouse is we can control how much water it gets or does not. And with the drill bit, we can control how much drainage it gets or not. Another perk of this would be if there's too much water up top, it will drip. Water the second, then drip. Water the third, then the third can at least empty out on the floor. So, I don't know. That's what we're doing. Again, we don't really know if these are going to take. We hope and pray that they do. But... As Sam said before, the only way not to get them to work is to not plant them. So, here we go.
So it has been two or three days since we transplanted these and the ones on the top especially are still looking kind of peaked. Um, they're kind of hating life right now. Yeah, they but got they're sticking in their, there. They're not. Yeah, yeah. Start over. I will not interrupt you. But I will try my best. But they're hanging in there so we're going to leave them and give them some good fertilizer and water and hope they pick back up. <laughs> Yeah, if they die, they die. But that's all we gotta say about that, I guess. All right, I'm gonna backpedal a little bit on this video and say that I don't like the drain holes being in the gutters. Um, it would work great if these are outdoor so you don't drown your plants, but in here in the greenhouse, it's gonna mean that I'm gonna have to water these daily, if not twice daily. So how do you fix such a mess up? Your good old friend, white duct tape. I'm just gonna tape the holes up and we'll be good. That way they will have enough water. I'll be able to monitor the moisture and water levels and everything and give them water as they need. So there you go. Back pedal done. <laughs> hey, what? Another project done. Woohoo. And it looks good. It does. And it's something else in the greenhouse. <laughs> That's not on the floor. Right. There's more food in the greenhouse. Wow. <laughs> We've actually had raccoons coming in at night and eating all the strawberries out of the garden. So hopefully we'll actually get to eat some of our own strawberries. That'd be nice. Hopefully they'll also produce longer. I, honestly, at this point, I can't remember. You might. I don't know if we have ever bearing or not, early or not. It's been like three years running, <laughs> random strawberries. So there is no telling what will happen in here. We may have strawberries year round. We may not have any more. It, I don't know. It's hard for me to remember because the raccoons have always been around to get them. Yeah. Yeah, so. raccoons or chickens when they were down in a lower area. Yeah. So, I mean... And they always wait until they're red. What's up with that? They're smart. <laughs> Don't we wait until they're red? Well, yeah. There you go. We're smarter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that being said, there are a lot of little green strawberries in there. So, mm -hmm. there's a pretty good chance we should at least get five or six out of these. And then I was thinking as I was shooting the closing scene how... We didn't do this intentionally, but we do have it ordered oldest to youngest from top to bottom. We are Just about. three year, two year, and our new runners. So, you know, hey, young we ones on the bottom. Rotate. Yeah. I definitely think come next year, um, we're going to have to add at least another gutter or two. But mm -hmm. that's a good, no, a bad, no, yeah, a good problem to have. <laughs> that's a good, bad, good Get problem straight, to have. straight, honey. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed this project. Uh, it was really easy, pretty low cost, and um, we are happy to get our strawberries in here where we can watch them. It really takes up very little space and uh, looks great. It's pretty to look at. <laughs> I agree. Well, thanks guys for watching. Um, leave us a comment. We love to read them, even if we don't get to comment on all of them. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.